Hi guys, it's ODA here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm finally doing it. I'm finally doing a what's in my outdoor slash camera slash survival slash I'm just going to call it outdoor backpack video or outdoor bag video. Yes, that's right. I've been talking about this for ages. So let's cut the waffle and get into it as I want this video to be as short as possible but still get through the gear. So let's get into it. But just before I start, two really quick things. Firstly, well three in fact, this isn't a show off at all as with all of my videos, especially my um, gear haul video that of things that I got for my birthday. This isn't a show off, it's just saying what's in my bag because I'm proud of my gear and I'm proud of most importantly how organised it is. Secondly, um, sorry if the light's fading, I'm going to try and keep this as quick and hopefully in light as possible but the light's really fading so let's get on with this quick and finally i don't carry this gear with me all the time for different videos i carry different gear but this is just an average gear of what i carry out for a video or an adventure or something like that so firstly the bag this is just a hype backpack if you can as you can tell there's the hype logo and if you've seen sorry if you've seen my instagram or some of my youtube videos or whatever hype's basically just uh, clothing brand, it's not an outdoor brand, it's not a bushcraft brand, sorry the backpack's quite heavy to be honest, but it's just a nice backpack that I had lying around, so I'm using this for my adventures, I also use my haversack a bit, but I mainly use this, just a nice simple backpack, front pouch, carry loop, all that, super simple, but I love it because it's camo colour, it's getting a bit small for me now, small to keep all my gear in as I'm carrying more gear and more things for things like camping and more camera gear but it's a great bag and yeah just a basic camo bag okay so next front pouch now I've actually done a whole video of gear that I keep in my front pouch but it's basically just quick access items first aid kit please though I'll link the video with this in in the description notebook waterproof notebook multi-tool never multi-tool and a uh, um, reflective wristband and then two things I've added since that video is some tinder this is just cotton material you've seen this see my EDC pouch video that's linked down in the description and a sewing kit there two more extras that I've added that's just a front pouch lovely little pouch to keep going okay so now into the actual bag sorry just forgot to say this on the top if you see my ED no if you see my everyday carry video EDC you're seeing that it's just like a paracord fire starter whistle thing now i've actually got my bag in my opinion pretty well organized just give me a second so yeah i think i've got it pretty well organized so if i open it up as you can tell everything's in pouches firstly i've got a whole array of items really i should have a ground sheet down but to be honest i'm not bothered so i have a whole array of items on the top here and you'll see what i mean by on the top in a bit and i'll get onto them and then down in the bottom i actually i'm using my haversack so my haversack's actually in my backpack that's nothing else is in the backpack so all it is is my haversack and then a bunch of items that i keep on top of my haversack so let's start off with a bunch of items on top and then the haversack okay so first up the array of items that i keep on top of my haversack in my bag let's start off with this this is an insta 360 selfie stick basically just a long selfie stick with a quarter twenty thread at the top you'll probably you'll know what that means if you're into camera gear and that's just for filming then talking about filming gear i have this pouch this is actually an old headphone pouch this has got camera gear in things like microphones accessories gopro accessories all that whole video hopefully coming soon about what all the camera gear that I use to make these videos so I'm not going to talk about that too much next a whittling kit in this nice little pouch here let's open this up if I can get it open and there we have in there just two chip knives four of you hopefully also coming on this two chip knives a crook knife or a hook knife i don't know what they're called for doing bowls and then a small little knife then my pathfinder cup done a full review on this in case you're interested interested that'll be linked down in this description and inside there i've got my gas bottle for fuel for my um gas um stove 
and then I've also got some pigeon cam there. Um, EDC pouch or um, Crossbow's pouch for video on that in case you're interested. Then this is my saw. I'm not going to show that too much. And then that's in a nice pouch. And please note, as I keep on saying, I'm hoping to do reviews on this gear as time comes. I've already done quite a few. And then finally, in this small little pouch here, I have this pouch, which is my tool pouch, which keeps two knives, an open L, and another one, and a five star trip. Funny story about that that I've not got enough time to tell you, but I'll really quickly tell you. I filmed a video on that, and it edited, uploaded, and then YouTube took it down because it's got knives in. So I'm not going to show that, but it's basically got two knives, a five star trip, bowl, obviously, as you can tell, and then some whittling gloves and a head torch. That's that. Now, into the haver sack let's get into this so time to open it up it's got a nice system to open up there and this has got all my cooking gear in except from things that couldn't fit in which you've already seen plate this you've seen my one of my very first cooking videos this is a tripod cooking tripod that you can screw together set up for cooking this and then I've got a chopping board just a nice wooden chopping board and then some more pouches heat proof gloves in that pouch that pouch I've got my honey stove which I love and hopefully doing a video on properly using it for cooking fold out windshield which I've shown in a lot of my cooking videos and these two pouches this is a David Fires one which I've done a review on and then there I've got utensils so I've got um, my um, fish sp fish slice there, grater come colander, some spoons, a cutting board, and then a um, uh, spoon, some cutting boards, and then the handle for my um, skillet, which I'm not actually brought out. Final pouch, hopefully I'm going through this quick, so I don't want it to be a long video. This is full of stoves and fuel. So gas stove, which you obviously saw the fuel for earlier matches because obviously you need that to light your stoves these are fuel tablets which you can cook with so just light them up and then that's for like i said this in my other video nine minutes each so obviously that for cooking and then my trangia and the little trivet thing for my trangia so that's all my gear i've got uh, just to repeat it all cooking gear in the haversack, other cooking gear and just other stuff on top and then stuff in my front pouch. So, hope you enjoyed seeing all my gear. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed seeing what I keep. My outdoor bag, you see in all these videos, well the majority of them, that you see me use, so I hope you enjoyed seeing all my gear. So if this video seems a bit rushed, or a bit not clear, or um, I didn't go in depth in that much, um, detailing some of the things, but that's because I didn't want to make this video too long, and I was tackling, tackling with the light and all that. So I'm hoping to go in depth, and some of those pouches that you saw, my bag hoping to go into more detail in a lot of them and all that and my cooking gear and outdoor gear and all that so hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in another video bye